Hello laces and jelly babies, welcome back to Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm Denzel Washington, let's do this. The sin of the ancients is buried in that soil. Corrupt or demons. I know of them. I killed one at Mother's Watch. A bold claim. I wonder if you'll live up to it. It's not really a claim so much as it is the truth there, Sona. So I um we we found War Chief Sona and we are now on the hunt of the the attackers who killed so many of the tribe and well attack proven. Hours ago, I sent braves into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us. But this is quite a few we about this. Side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's Blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they dug out this pit. So we put fire to it and then? Boom. Then let us begin. Whoa, wait. Let's not rush. Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do. So, first, I'm gonna grab that. So, there's a few different ways you can do this. Um, generally speaking, you want to go for a kind of a stealthy approach. You can go in all guns blazing, though. Um, I don't think it actually hinders the game at all. Um, I'm gonna tag these folk. Um, I do quite like the fact that this is the first time that the game kind of gives you the Gives you the ability to. I think there's there's more guys, but that'll do for now. I think. Um, to be honest, tagging is useful, but a lot of the time it's more just to kind of give you an understanding of roughly where they are. They know I'm here now. Ah well, that's this. Game's a bogey. Out of the light. Uh huh. So. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So this is basically us versus the uh idea is to try and not get hit. I know I'm doing a very god awful job of it. But, um... Well that's most definitely stuff that can be done Alright, they're almost dead. To be honest, there's not really a whole lot of them. 
Um, that's what I was looking for. Sorry. The. <coughs> um. So I can. Oh! There's you still! So, yeah, there's, there's loads of different ways to to come at that. And I utterly goosed just about all of them. But, um. To be honest, I think it's. Good. I can use this. It's quite a quite a good thing in the way the game's designed that you're not beholden to any one playstyle. So say you go to go for the stealthy approach and it doesn't work, then you have the This wasn't all the killers. Yeah. I counted more at the war party massacre. Um, if you're I not forced chase their into that, if you get caught you can still easily switch into a more aggressive playstyle. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination, <clears throat> but you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val, what are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. Do as you wish. Everyone else does. Mother. One less thing to think about. Apologies for that, folks. Um, had a phone call there, um, unavoidable, um, it's, oh no, oh, right, started running the wrong way, um, yes, so, um, the, Commanders, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter, safe from stray sparks and lightning, and I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures, or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Thran, out. <sighs> a blaze stockpile inside their base. Sabotage that, and we win. Yep. Oh. I found something. The rest uh, of the killers are camped inside so I, a ring um, of metal. Any idea what that the means? Can, uh, Damn them. The ring of metal <coughs> lies in the of grief. Oh, sorry. That yeah, the, the ability to change playstyles on the flies are really good design choice, because it doesn't feel no like you Blood spilled calls like you choose blood to spilled. only do silent the thing, ground is uh, cursed, then let our vengeance kill sanctify folk. it. You bless fiend. Then please, war chief, the break the taboo. Devil's grip uh, is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send uh, scouts might be just. ahead. Might be just. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. Nice. Yes, um, as I was saying, the it's, it's more of me just kind of wax and lyrical, I've got to admit. But it's a fantastic game. 
Um, Save these for the trail. I mean, there, there's not many games that allow you to so effectively, like, see if you're st stealthing around. It doesn't feel like you've compromised your ability to be all um, aggressive and the like. It's another wee trick, folks. If you're a bit worried about the the height killing you and the like, um, I personally like to start running down and then immediately um, as the gravity starts to take hit, uh, take effect you spin Eloy back around to face the wall as if she's starting to try and climb up and the gravity is going to beat the climbing but because the ability to kind of run up almost your cliff faces sometimes with Eloy is there then it's it's quite a, a handy um, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head to Mother's Crown, which is the kind of the main settlement outside of um, here, the Embrace. Can't believe I forgot what that was called. Um, I've still not done any of the side quest stuff that I was going to do um, <coughs> off screen, but that is uh, that is by design. Um, I've just had I, I thought about doing it, and then I was like, "Nah, there's Also, this folks is our first van a data vantage point. So basically you get to certain they're normally a lot higher than this and a lot more difficult to get to. Um but it's like a point in the map where you can you can see like a, a former structure or an area like as you stand there you can you can kinda see that there used to be something here. And then obviously you come in to the, or do you access your, um, ah, oh, what are they called? Your wee head device, and it actually shows you what used to be there because it's recorded in the, there's like a, somebody's uh, uh, marked it, it's location, um, kind of like, Rotten geodata packets um, for people to find and stuff, and they all come with some pr pretty interesting um, audio. Mapaka shit storm tour day three. I was thirteen. I broke in and vandalized this place. Me and that kid, I think his name was Star. It was my first arrest. A real banner day for the Mahdi family. Yeah. What a messed up kid I was. This whole series of, um, kind of data logs basically chronicle the the journey of Easier when I was a kid. this, um, this guy, ba was that Bashar Mati? Was his name? Um, and uh, yeah, it's like his. It's like a, a cool wee side story that you find out about from this or of this guy that was 
alive and around for the the actual apocalypse and the end of the world. Now obviously the world's still here. We haven't found we haven't found out why that is. idea that there's all this lore just kind of kicking about waiting for folk to to find it is to me at least That'll really help. awesome um it really adds an extra dimension to the world that you can feel that this new world or something it built on top of previous worlds kind of like the way that our world like the modern day is um, feels more like a military camp. It's built on top of the so the civilizations and the like before. Some things are beyond our care. God is sure better next time. So there is the seeker. The one who was an outcast. My I'm gonna pick up these side missions while I'm here just so I don't you have to worry about coming back. The ones that attacked Although, and approving. You saved many lives. This would probably be the Nora outpost I come to the most. Did you, did you or um how far did I, you follow the killers? We say what are you getting at? Place. Are you worried have. your hunting party has been killed? There are worse things than being killed. What was your hunting party doing? After the proving, we were so angry. We wanted to strike back. And those corrupted machines left that tracks just we could daft. follow. We caught up to them at dusk. <laughs> we fought with all our burning hatred. But in the dark and chaos, I... I couldn't see everything. They stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, but my party is... Your party is... Gone. What's worse... I'm... Well, oh, sorry. I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. That's charming. I'm afraid. My friends went into the ruins. I know he probably I meant it as a, I will be a compliment out. that she's but strong enough to do neither. it. But tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Find my friends. We were so eager to fight the corrupted machines, we didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please, have pity on us. Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing to worry about on that end, trust me. I'll see what I can do about your friends. How can you tell if a machine's been corrupted? Oh, Here oh. she is. They My made her a fault. seeker. What happened? Oh, I'm grateful for this wound. It's a lesson I won't forget. And you should heed it too. How's that? I was chasing a galloping grazer, so intent on my prey that I didn't see where I was going. Right to the threshold of a cauldron. A cauldron? This is, What's that? This is going to start a oh. uh, series of missions you're that are pretty place, cool. So you've never seen one. A cauldron is a sort of door, I guess. <laughs> no a one sort knows of what door. lies beyond. Some say machines are made inside. Others think their dens of evil, where the spirits of the metal devils linger. Same thing, I suppose. Whatever they are, they're forbidden. I. You mentioned a lesson before. What did that wound teach you? As I stood before the cauldron, my prey scampered off and I stared, dumb with wonder. For a moment, I was a child again. 
wrapped from stories told by hunters at the campfire. I had a powerful desire to see what was inside. That's when the Watcher attacked. Cauldrons are guarded, you see. I barely fought it off and got the scrape as a reminder. Got it as a... There's a reason the matriarchs forbid those places, a... and not just because they're dangerous. We weren't meant There's to see. There's one way to describe how they I'll never oh. waver again. This scar treated to that. But for a moment, you felt for the machines. A so. sense of discovery. Are you so sure that's a bad thing? Has to be, right? Or I wouldn't have been punished. It's such a. Where can I find this cauldron? My point is, you shouldn't. Then describe the place I should avoid. You're a clever one, <laughs> but not so clever as to heed my warning. I see. Nope. Fine, you're grown. I can't stop you. It's dead north of here, past the red drifts, built into the side of a mountain. Just remember, I told you to stay away. Don't worry. I'm not gonna go tailing folk. The girl with the mark of a seeker. <coughs> the sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital? Yeah. West will take you to it. But their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that <laughs> guards the pass between east and west. Word is the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear yes. out the corrupted machines, nice. they'll open the border? Off them? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley all by yourself. Yeah. I'm good with a bow. I know. For your sake? Better than good. I hope. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, yeah. the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. Forsaken, what, Forsaken Village? Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. <sighs> I was 15 at the time. I got away, <coughs> others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown. Relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we've left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. It's not just me, right? They look darkened out. How far is the corruption? As if spread? I've already asked. I've seen it them. myself in machines at the head of the valley, and there's been word of corrupted machines in the south too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. Nope. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the really corrupted machines unpleasant. have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. This is a curse only the goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight and pray to the goddess. Mother's crown guards the edge of the sacred land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. Hunter's Gathering is a little more than a heap place. of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Yeah. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. Pretty much. And so village you're defenses. In charge of the defenses here. <coughs> Mother's crown defends itself. During the war, it survived fifteen assaults, broke three invasions. We will endure. Trying to live up to glorious pasts has a way of getting people killed. You wouldn't know this, but I won the proving the year I ran. Like you, I started off behind, had to find a shortcut. I barely made it, crossed the finish line with a broken ankle. This isn't the proving, Maria. Mm -hmm. This is real. You miss my point. Getting posted to Mother's Crown? It was the boon I requested. My prize for winning. Trying to live up to the glory of the Nora hasn't killed me yet. But if it has to, I'm willing. Such a strange mindset to most people. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever. <coughs> it's one of the things I kind of like about Aloy. Screaming. Um, is that she, her almost unwillingness to go along with everything else um, that the, the Nora and everybody else believes and goes on, goes along with, 
like it's it kind of feeds into allowing the player. Mother's to, crown could make use of your bow. You can we, see yourself more like, like brave, a transplant you? from modern we day into this completely different world that you're part of, but you're just There's good I don't understand the east, past the, the falls. how you would There's get to that thought now. process. When I saw it, I dropped uh, the hunt. I find Ran it quite cover. interesting, and it, it's an interesting, an but then um, I, quite cool wee no shame in design to tool to get the. No, it's the my players to be more that attached my to Aloy. My mother's mother's prized from a machine's jaw. It's, it's quite past. difficult, especially when a, a character is. You know, they're not a, a create a character, or they're not a, a voiceless, effectively faceless person like um, help, you have my thanks. Gordon Freeman. I'll be at the campfire when you come uh, by again. So, why can't I? Why? Why am I on a? Why is he standing on the snow? <laughs> oh, it's you. The outcast turned seeker. Huh. I've heard you're good with bow and spear. You know, some even say you're the best. Yeah. I think I hear a challenge in there. He always got game. And I'm not interested. I have more important things to do. Oh, I see. The seeker doesn't have time for us, lesser Nora. Too busy hunting machines and marauders. Well, yeah, I can't claim to have faced that? the corrupted or danced with demons. But I have earned a few sons at the hunting grounds at Valley Meat. Have you? Or maybe your seeking hasn't taken you that far. I'm not going to get into this because we've already kind of found out about them. I just haven't went and done them yet. Um, basically, at the hunting grounds, you get three levels of sons because it's a card, I think. So, of course, it's about the sun. Um, you get. It's basically bronze, silver, and gold. Um, the the blazing sun is the the gold, and there's fifteen to collect. Over there's three you get at each hunting ground, and there's five hunting grounds, each with various different challenges. Um, and it, it's quite a cool wee thing because it it helps. They're basically tutorials, um, but they're completely optional. And, but there is a bonus to it, and not just like you get cool gear and you get more experience and stuff like that. There's also storylines and plots that you get treated to for taking part in them, which is another cool wee design trick to actually get you to take part in those things, despite the fact that some of them are so annoying. But yeah, so I'm just going to ignore this cretin. Do you try to provoke everyone you talk to? Only seekers with red hair and big reputations. And how often do they come around? You're the first I've seen today. If your seeking takes you to the hunting grounds, see if you can earn a blazing sun. If you do, you'll know you beat me. Consider it done. Yeah. So, with that, folks, I'm gonna I'm gonna end that there. Um, I'm gonna do some off-camera stuff and then head to the Red Echoes for Revenge of the Nora. Um, I'm not going to be doing the cauldron, don't worry, I'll, I'll actually show you the first cauldron. Um, I know I said I'm going to do a lot of side quest stuff offline, uh, off camera, but um, like if the, big things like that and the... Um, where is it? This, the Devil's Thirst uh, Bandit Camp. I'm going to, I'm going to show you that one as well on camera. Um, and maybe a couple of the other ones that I think are quite cool. Um, but for the most part, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a lot of the side missions off camera unless they're interesting or something cool happens during them. Uh, mostly because it doesn't. I think all it's gonna end up doing is padding out the episodes of this to be like 40, 50. And I know Yakuza is gonna get that way, but um, I th I think I'm getting better at Yakuza being more succinct um but yes so um i'm going to do some of the the smaller side quests like my errands um done the tall neck 
I'll do. The, I'll, I'll keep the hunting grounds um, separate, uh, and the cauldron as well. I'll I'll do these on camera. Um, I'll do that on camera. But um, yeah. So next time we're back and we'll be doing Revenge of the Nora, and then start to do um, Secret of the Gates. Um, I think there's another one in this plot line after Revenge of the Nora. I can't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, so that's next and then we'll be moving on into the, the West. So yes, uh, as always hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Um, maybe hit the wee bell at the side if you're interested. Um, get notifications about when we're actually, when I upload videos. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry about that folks um, yeah and don't forget to leave comments down below let me know what you think um, it's the best way to get feedback to me um, and I'm not going to lie all the feedback uh, it helps me know that I'm doing things right or if there's something I'm doing wrong or something that you'd rather I didn't do um, it helps me figure that out so yes, um, this has been Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn up in Dinesville, Washington. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.